Well, you clean up well. Thank you. Jeff, thanks. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. This is so wonderful. I'm honored. Thank you so much. Thanks, dude. That's yeah, awesome. Welcome. This is already my favorite interview. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I yes. appreciate well that. Well done. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> The wrath of a mother is the worst wrath that you should never mess with, am I right? That's right. You don't want to mess with a mama. Yeah, and you have two kids, so did your maternal instincts come out during this film? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm, I'm a mama bear and, and fighting for my kids, I'm, that's no, I'm no stranger to that. You have a great career. You've done very well. Thank you. You have a beautiful wife. You have two beautiful daughters. Mm -hmm. If you could go back to the John that was first starting out in the business mm -hmm. and give advice or words of encouragement um, to what you know now, what yeah. would you say to that John? That's a really great, big question. Um, Sterling, I'm Jeff. How you doing, Jeff? Good, nice how are you? Nice to meet, you, you, nice to meet you. Welcome to Chicago. Thank you very much. I gotta man. tell you, my show is This Is Us. Thanks. I'm, I mean, it's your show, but it's but my go-to show. Go -to show. That's your show. It's incredible. I dig I, it. I cry every single episode, every five minutes. You know, a swift wind comes by, I start crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. This was the best treat ever because I was reading your book before I even knew I was gonna get this interview. Oh, okay. I read to work on the way on the bus. And I got the interview my birthday week. I just turned 30 last week. You did not. Congratulations. Yes, it's our 30th year together. Indeed it is. That's awesome. Thank you for saying it on television. I'm sorry, I mean 28. <laughs> okay. 28 and a half. I'm joking. 28 and a half. <laughs> exactly. Well, I've been quizzing Ice Cube's co-stars on something to see if you know him well or not. Okay. So I'm playing a game. All right. And it's either Matthew Fax, and you gotta tell me if it's Ice Cube or Ice T. Oh, okay. So you wanna hold these up for me really quick? Yeah. Oakland Raiders fan. That's right. Born 1958. Nice to see you. Nice job. You're 79 years young. You've gone through every single character I think known to man. You've played everyone so wonderfully. What inspires you at this age to choose which character you want to play? Well, anything that's got some interest in it and will keep my brain cells working. Well, I have to bring up for Marvel fans, Black Panther, we are so excited for February. What can we expect from Black Panther? Man. The cast is incredible, including your buddy, Sterling. Yep, yep, yep. I can't really tell you anything about it. Okay. Um, well, then can you tell me how the fandomonium and all these fans and your growing success, are you handling this okay? Because it's gonna get bigger and bigger, you know that. You know, I'm doing the best I can. You know, I'm doing the best I can. Uh, it's, it's, you know, for me, I'm excited for people, uh, for people's minds to be opened up to a different place. I, that, that I can definitely say. So at the age of 14, you were nominated for an Oscar for the great film, True Grit, you were wonderful in. Thank you so much. Um, and you are the newest member of the Pitch Perfect Phenomenon. Yes. And you are a great music artist now. Thank you. So is it tough to keep normalcy? Um, or have you kind of embraced the fandomonium and the stardom that comes with your life? You know, in a way, um, it kind of is my normal, as crazy as it is. So I have to tell you actually, I'm really good friends with your mom. Oh yeah, Shay. great. Um, I did a TV segment a few years ago on her life and wellness oh, wow. uh, class, and she actually wanted me to show you this. I talked to her this morning oh, and great. yesterday. This is us That's doing a great. workout together. That's awesome. Um, so we're really good friends, and you grew up with her in Buffalo Grove, yes. Lake Forest, and yes. her sisters, yep. um, but then you guys have all moved to the West Coast. Yes. And we love when you come back and forth <laughs> to Chicago, but recently you actually really made roots on the West. Mm -hmm. So what made you decide finally to really make Chicago, time to depart. Well, I came back here actually when I had kids to raise the kids here, but I have a very active production company in California. Mm -hmm. So uh, with the production company, I was just flying back and forth so much sure. uh, that I was spending so much time in the in the plane. But uh, my daughter was born here. We come back all the time. And we love every time you do. And we love coming the back. The Cubs come back. And yeah, I definitely bring my kids to the World Series. I know you guys can see this. It's, you guys have already gotten so many accolades for this film. And there is already Oscar buzz. I mean, I wonder, do you guys try to veer away from hearing that? Or are you guys embracing the momentum behind it? It's a means to an end in a way. And sure. the end yeah. is just that, you know, that hopefully, as you say, hopefully people will see the movie, but also especially including people who would normally not see a musical. Like sure. that's the, the, those in a way are the, it's, it's the other, you know, the other side of the aisle that I'm really right. wanting to reach out to. Their first date was so great, and their love story is so great. But honestly, I mean this kindly, is the love story between you and Chrissy Teigen is so inspiring to so many of us <laughs> that watch it and through yeah. the media. We really do. Sure. So was your first date Obama film-worthy the same, or <laughs> was it different? It was different because there was a lot of filming, actually, because uh, we were shooting a video that day. Um, it was me and her. We were the only people in the cast of the video. and. Uh, my friend was directing it and he was trying to hook us up really uh, in his casting decision because he thought that I would like Chrissy and he was right. Yeah, it's worked <laughs> and out. then we went on you know, many dates after that. Awesome. Uh, and uh, you know, the rest is history. O'Shea Jackson's their birth name. Ice Cube. Married to Coco. Oh. Is five foot 11. 
<laughs> I know I had to throw a stumper in there. Oh, nope, it's actually iced tea. It's, it's the perm. It's the perm. It's the perm. It makes him 5'11". But, but he's cut it now. He did. So he's only 5'8 now. He did. Okay. Yeah, he cut the perm. He's only 5'8. So you guys need to do your research. Remeasure him. <laughs> it's cute. Thank you, Anthony. Congrats okay. on the movie. Congrats on Blackish. Thank you very much, brother. You have a good one. You too. Game. I do have to tell you. My parents have been together for 38 years. Okay. My mom has watched you from all my children okay. to Las Vegas. I love Las Vegas. Okay. I still watch reruns. Um, you are her hall pass. Not to really? be funny. If you ever yeah, your from my hall dad, pass? from my dad. So, without wow. pissing off Mike, can you say hi to Cheryl really quick? Hi, Cheryl. See? Happy to know I'm your hall pass. Awesome. <laughs> Sorry. What's your dad's name? Mike. Sorry, Mike. Sorry, Dad. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Happy Father's Day. Related. Father's Day. Yeah. Tis the season. Thank you so much. Nice All to right, meet you. See you. It's true. It really is. I came back for that. Thank you, Cheryl. Your birthday's coming up, so happy birthday it in is. advance. Thank you. So, Thank I have a gift for you. So, one of my favorite superheroes of all time is your storm in the X-Men films. And your talent is to control the weather. That's right. And we're called the Windy City here in Chicago. That's right. So, I got you a snow globe from Chicago because just like you, just like your character in X-Men, and just like Carla in Kidnap, you know how to weather the storm. <laughs> Thank you. Mwah. Happy Thank birthday, Holly. So much. nice to meet you. Congrats Thank on a great you. film. My first birthday present. Happy birthday. It won't be your last. Thank you. Thank nice you very you. much. Thank you. Well, before you go, I mean, it's tough when you have two young daughters to leave and go on business on these press junkets. Yes. So I wanted to watch out for you and you know how people love when the parents come back with gifts from their yes. travels. Oh my so God. I got you your back. So no way. For first of all, for your two month old Violet, oh Chicago my bib. Oh god, that's amazing. And then for your two year old. That is amazing. Hazel. You are killing it for me. I got love from what? Chicago. What? Okay, so, I, I gotta say, these are not only adorable <laughs> and bizarrely, hugely thoughtful. Thank you. Well, you can but say they're also from... totally in their wheelhouse. Right, good. I mean, this is going to be, I already know my daughter well enough, this will be her favorite animal. So you can totally say it's from you or you can say it's from Uncle Jeff. It's up to you. Oh, it's gonna be from Uncle Jeff. Awesome. And then I'm gonna spend the next 15 years explaining who Uncle Jeff is. <laughs> I'll come by. Okay, good. I make a good potluck. <laughs> Perfect, yeah. thanks. Well, nice to meet you. Jeff, congrats thank you on this so film. much. Oh, thank you You're very welcome. much. I appreciate and, it. And uh, congrats on everything, the groin family. Thank you. Yeah. Jeff, thanks. Nice to meet you.